Hey, this is Red Vegemite. I'm about to start a game of Endless Legend. I haven't really done this. Oh. I am many things. I have been many things. Warm and green. Cold and gray. Devastated and dying. Now I am alive again. But I fear my new children imitate the old ones. Some claim the mountains or the forests, or build fortresses on the plains. They begin to mistrust and prepare for war. Still, I love them as only a mother can. And now I fear for them. I feel the winds of change begin to blow. And this time it may be an all-out storm. I pray that my children will weather this tempest. For nothing is immortal, and one day, they may have to survive without me. So yeah, that was cool, but uh, I haven't played this game in forever, and when I last played, I played as the Wild Walkers, and it wasn't uh, exactly the smoothest playthrough, because I didn't really know what I was doing, and I still don't know what I'm doing, but I've been learning a little bit. Um, going with the Bolters, though, because I just think they're cool, right? The, the, their true origin's lost, they like live in a crashed spaceship, and they're in endless dungeon, and they're in endless space, you know, they're cool, so that's who I'm going to be. Uh, I think they like science. Is that, is that what it says? Their main victory type is, yeah, science. Uh, naturally conservative and wary, and limited relations. They start with a library, and strength of the vault. What does this do? Plus 100 fortification on the city. Deep generator, that's cool. Veins, holy resource. Your people value and exploit one strategic resource above all others. Once it has been selected and collected, you gain powerful new abilities. Okay. And there's teleportation. When the booster is activated. Endless recycling. Minus four from city upkeep. Cool. And open pit mine. He's not with. Let's, let's go, let's go. Everything else I'm gonna leave random, I'm gonna leave everything at normal because I'm a normal... Well, I'm not normal, but uh, I like normal things in games. Not really, either, but I like to start at the normal. Let's see, how long does it take for it to load everything up? Because I think we're only just gonna do this the one time. And the land became rich, and all of that is me. So that's just cool, cool loading text that I didn't read when I should have. Waiting for other empires. Our legend spoke of a great journey beneath the stars. Safe in our halls and mines, we ignored these old tales. But then the great quake cracked our halls open revealing ancient secrets and relics. These unknown relics carried our patterns, our images, hints of a hidden past. We took them and fled the destruction, seeking a new life on the surface. Now the legends and relics of our past show the way to our future. The journey will be dangerous, sometimes deadly. But we go forth without fear or ignorance. For courage and knowledge are the bywords of the Vaulters. They also have some cool tats. 
Oh, down with that. Alright, it's about jacking it. Ancient warriors, venerable race, few number, but super powerful. And they can, they know everyone who comes to Earth, but, uh, Frozen Fangs, we have this minor faction, okay, and this, Sakarun's Fortresses, yeah, I, I don't know what, what this is going to do, Tempest, while much is known on the surface, the oceans regard many mysteries, where the fortresses, certainly creations of another age, still house a secret of people called the Fomarians, Fomorians, who serve some ancient purpose, but while the nations of Rukia will have to meet, trade, and war in the seas, another force arises from beneath them. They are, or is, the Moldauer and twisted and possessed people that seem to be symbiotic creations of sea life and other unimaginable species. It will be necessary to confront them, defy them, and understand the new powers they harness, or equally likely succumb to their strength. Okay. So I guess that's the sunken ruins over here. It's now a treasure or a tomb for brave adventurers. Oh boy. Well, let's get out, settler. This is a... This is a... Uh, very... Islandy start right here. Let's turn on F. Um, can, can you move? There you go. Okay. Yeah, let's let's search it. And we got dust, okay. That's that's good. That's over there, let's get you going this direction. So this this I would say is a, a weird start. Because it's gonna be quite some distance. I think this is our best bet is to settle over here. And that's not won't be until turn two. properties of these cathedrals of vaulting ice are remarkable. The sounds are swallowed or amplified depending on your location. The science of acoustics is born. Moss pearls beguiling hum accompanies these uh, phosphorescent light of these strange plants and visitors who eat the delicious fruits claim to have inspirational visions. That's some good drugs right there. Stasis pillar. The skin prickles close to this eye-defying wonder and no birds fly in its vicinity. Uh, natural philosophers travel for leagues to analyze its properties. Okay, so that's also cool. Uh, yeah, this will give us okay production. That's all productivity over there. Is that everyone who's moved? We can't build anything this turn. I, I guess that's all we can do. Can we start researching? I don't think we have any science, uh, but... What would we want? Well, we always want this. Oh, just the forge. Let's see, parlay on empire. I think that would be good for speaking with the, uh, the locals. Need an exploited sea tile to be built. Okay. A boarding vessel. Well, let's just, we, we just need the one for now. What? Yep, infinity uh, time that will take, because we don't have science. Oh, it, it did some computing, okay. 
Geysers. Superheated steam blast skyward. These cascade to, to the ground. These wonders turn your philosopher's mind. They're just the workings of the subterranean world. Your, your builders to his exploitation. Okay. Alright, so this is a cliff. That's a that's long cliff. Let's go this way. See, I like I like this spot over here. Is that where we're going? There. So we can go there and then go there and then make our way this way. And yeah, this this works. One, two, three. Either way, it will cost me yeah, three buildings. to production or more science. Let's see, this gives me seven production, five, yeah, I've forgotten about all this other production, so yeah. That's just straight up better in everything except dust. So there we go. Let's, let's just do it. Blue wine extractor. But first, we're gonna. Salting the earth. No thanks. Let's build the Founder's Memorial. Takes three turns to get another pop. Yeah. We will wait three turns. Okay, Marine. You're done with movement. You can... You're also done with movement, okay. Oh! This is our hero, okay. Let's put our hero with this group. What, what are you good at? Uh, techno level assignment, point blank, shop census, army defense book, science efficiency... Spying... Okay. That's fine. Mill found you will take two turns. That's some that's some good science. What should I queue up? Well money search party. Let's, let's just get the parlay action going. New quest added. Wide lands, wide eyes. They call themselves vultures. They found me scorched and blackened in an ancient cavern that their people had long forgotten. How long had I lain in that darkness? Only the stars know, but my limbs rusted and groaning. Tell me ages must have passed. I will never forget the looks on their faces, haunted, awestruck, but above all, fearful. The realm that they called home, the subterranean paths and chambers that riddled the planet, had come under attack from some cataclysmic force, had shaken and split and ruptured, decimating their numbers. Oh boy. Their leader, the first of the bloodline, as she is known, recognized in me something valuable and brought me back to life in that now dusty crypt. For this I will be eternally grateful. I vow to be her faithful servant until the end of the days, wherever that may lead. Now they retreat to the surface where they believe they will find respite, where they hope they will find answers. First, the bloodline of Zolia has made the first priority the assimilation of the local tribes. While they strike out into unknown lands under the sky's watchful gaze, I will try to remember past days. Pass by at least one village of a minor faction, and then assimilate them. I, I can do that. Um, let's go 
go this way because I want to check out what this feel. There we go, Jotus. Ancestors of this faction were bred for blood sports. These are two headed tiger dogs eating things and saying, hey, don't come over here. Um, blood sports and as watch beasts, they have rudimentary intelligence and great ferocity. Their clans are held together more by fear and strength than by sophisticated social bonds. Increased vision for pacified and rebuild Jota's village. Okay. So we already have another faction over here. The Mazari. We're gonna try and get this before they can. But alright, so we border another another empire. That's uh that's interesting, I guess. Found the Galderus, uh, the origins of the species I found in a pack of wolves that were driven into inhospitable inhos high tundra after losing a series of fights with the dragon. Infected by dust and evil forms has rendered them indifferent to the coldest environments and seasons. Damn dragons. Ice war cavalry plus 5% damage per pacified and Last turn, mill foundry, and then next. Oh, wait, that was what I researched. Next up is the language square, which will take two turns. Um, let's go with edge cultivation. Yeah, it seems like we're a little strapped for food right now. And then we'll get happiness. Stranger, we hope that our dealings will be brief and peaceful. What, what can we do? Close borders, comp. Oh, this all cost influence. Let's close the negotiation screen and diplomacy. Spoiled ruins. Okay, set. Alright, we've used all our movement. That big old nothing. What's this? Spiral rock peel. Ooh. Strange underground landmass movements create these bizarre rock peelings. Their shape and exposed nature makes them easy to gather. They look cool. It's a giant earth tower pit. What? Easily sculptable, draftsmen will enjoy working with this material. Ice sculptures and dye deposits, I see. Do we even... I guess we don't really need to build our city that direction. But we could. Why not? To one... Eh. It was just really to get that production. Oh, we didn't realize we have weaver worms this way. Uh, giant silkworms follow these ice sheets, leaving behind great roads of magical thread. As well as being incredibly strong, the silks can be woven into fabulous fabrics. Okay. What's over here? Meteor fields, ice covered debris from the skies of Berulia. Many strange treasures lie within these rocks. Okay.
Uh, the event can impart that. Alright, and we're, we're done. We're done. We've done everything. Okay. Oh, no. Where, where are you going, Marines? You want to go this way. Dismiss. Borders are convenient things. Now that we share a common frontier, we can keep an eye on each other. Yes. Yes. Yes, you're right. Will we have a peaceful relationship, or do we conquer these fools? They found 40 dust. Oh, what's this? Black dust. A form of naturally occurring deposit. These springs of gold and black provide a source of never-ending fuel. It's not oil. Black gold. You get it. You get the reference. If I brush the sound and the boundary, uh, I think we just need more population. We'll split them. Cautiously, many nations use the same word for stranger and enemy. This tribe seeks some specific resource in order to develop their art and industry. If you manage to obtain them, then you will improve relations between your people. Bring back eight titanium to the Jotus tribe. Okay. There's titanium over there. We're still waiting to build our founder's memorial, but we'll call it here for today, and as always, thanks for watching.